Tonight's forecast is sponsored by Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter. After a very hot start to the week and windy conditions in our area, we are beginning to see a nice continuation of that warmth weather. I'm weatherman Justin Staples. We thank you so very much for spending part of your day watching your neighborhood network, uh, whether if it's on uh, Comcast Cable Channel 21, Chat Moss, uh, our friends here on uh, uh, YouTube and uh, Facebook. We thank you for, join for joining us um, as well. Also, uh, thank you for the continued support on our social media feeds. We have noticed a slight increase in traffic on our Facebook site, so thank you so very much for making that possible and telling your friends to like us and share us on your own time. Hey, it's been another nice day today with the mix of clouds and sun. We're going to continue to get even warmer, like I said earlier, as we get close toward tomorrow and Friday. And then again, there's changes coming for the weekend, possibly some good rain we need again to uh, talk about. And now this is the time of year, again, April showers bring May flowers, right? So this is what I'm referring to when we say we are getting some good rainfall for this time of the year, because once we get into summer, and you all know this very well, we get those dry, long ranges of not much rain or whether we'll get thunderstorms and it's too much in a short amount of time. So uh, it all, you know, balances itself out somehow one way or the other. But hey, it's 80 degrees coming in at five o'clock this evening. We're gonna see clear skies overnight later on this evening. So may, better yet, go take in a baseball game at some local event or something like that, dinner on the patio, of course. Uh, something, you know, I was watching this uh, recently on the local, uh, one of the, the news stations in, uh, here in our area that there's the Big Salem Red Sox game Game. There's if you like to go to Roanoke and watch them play uh, Friday, I think the tip off is at 705, I think it is roughly about or better yet. Of course, check the Martins Mustangs schedule. They're now underway. And of course, Patrick and Henry Community College and your local high school as well. So be sure to support. Go out and watch your teams and your kids play. Knock those balls out of the ballpark. No pun intended at all. Temperatures tonight, though, are going to fall in the 50s for all, everybody this evening. Not as cold and some we may see some upper 40s as well for parts of Martinsville outside layer outside of the outlining areas you see here uh, portions of Axton Ridge uh, Sandy level or Sandy is yeah, Sandy level I think that's where it is uh, there outside of Ridgeway towards the Smith River Sports Complex along that riverfront there on 58 and 220 uh, north uh, you run across that river fog okay, and that's pretty nice to see especially when we have just enough moisture available in the atmosphere but again expect generally to mostly calm and clear night ahead of us so do dinner on the patio take the dog for a walk. I had a chance to, to go out and do, take a hike yesterday afternoon. Uh, it is a gorgeous afternoon to do that. And tomorrow, look at this, we're going to get even warmer, pushing almost 90, uh, closing in on 90, not hitting it, but Oak Level, also in the city of Martinsville and Ridgeway, hitting that uh, summertime feel. So, Luis, this is just for you. I know you'd love the summertime weather, and uh, I'm, I'm okay with it now because it's been summer since, what, February, right? We had those 80s back then, and now here we are in late April now, getting to more of a June feel, to say the least. But guess what? We're going to see less wind tomorrow, so that's the good news. But still, remember to do, if you do any burning, do it after 4 p.m. Uh, again, it's not recommended to do it this time of year, thanks to dry air, low humidity at stake. So it's going to feel pretty comfortable out there, not that suddenly flow of that humidity that's building on in for us. So that's the benefit of this. Now, of course, locally, maybe head to Philpot Lake, uh, head over to the, uh, the reservoir, maybe do some fishing or something. Uh, if you got some downtime or whatever you're going to be doing tomorrow, uh, you know, don't be playing hooky because it's so nice. Out, don't so get to go to work first in school. Maybe after work at school, go take advantage of it. Maybe go take in a ball game or something you want to do. Just take advantage of it because, like I said yesterday and this week, there's not much more time where we're going to be getting to see these nice days, especially in how warm it's been in the springtime pattern. Despite the fact that it being so warm already in the season, I'm not sure what the summer entails. Again, the Hurricane Prediction Center is also getting ready to release its final outlook. I know Colorado State uh, and also put out their predictions earlier. Uh, was it last weekend or, or this past weekend or earlier this week? They're predicting that we may see less of a hurricane season because El Nino is beginning to form back in our pattern finally. Finally, after four consecutive years of La Nina, we're now going to be flipping to an El Nino pattern 
uh, for our as well. So basically meaning that we've got much warmer water weather, war more water, let's try this again, warmer water temperatures, particularly along the Gulf and um, the uh, South American equator line where it's going to be feeling more th uh, hurricanes, but also sometimes we get in El Nino winters, we get a lot more snow uh, in our hometowns. Just something that kind of compares it to as well. But anyway, we're still about almost a month and two weeks away from the start of hurricane season. And you know, as Carter, we're getting real close to that. Hard to believe in graduations as well. Hey, speaking of being wet, of course, hurricanes hurricanes bring wet weather. We're projecting some much water, wetter weather uh, in our hometowns as well. This was released yesterday for the uh, Climate Prediction Center showcasing that maybe some wetter weather in the wake making here. Wow, say that five times fast here. The Mid-Atlantic and the Southern Gulf Coast states. Obviously, Florida, this is the time of year where they're now out of their dry season, now going into the wet season uh, as we're getting closer to March. I mean, May, not March. Wow, we'd be going backwards in the calendar, right? Meanwhile, the rest of the United States is expected to remain at or just below average for majority as well. Of course, this weekend, of course, you know, it's uh, not much going on as far as I'm aware, but some areas may be seeing, if you're traveling wise, let's put it that way, there's so many events happening, let's put it as that term. Of course, maybe you're making college visits, it's gonna be wet uh, Saturday, and of course, uh, if you have uh, maybe proms and stuff scheduled, whatever you're doing, uh, just do expect it to be a little bit unsettled uh, for Saturday, to say the least, but we're gonna most likely dry out Sunday, and maybe our friends up towards high Highland County, Pocahontas, Green Bar, right around this neck of the woods here of the um the West Virginia border may see some snow uh, for ski country, so they'll let you know we're going to be getting cooler as we start the first and the soon end of last week of April. All right, I can't even talk right, but anyway, I'm going to head off now. Maybe I can fix my, take some grammar lessons from somebody around here, but anyway, y'all make it a good evening. We'll continue the conversation for Thursday and have a, that full weekend forecast all planned out for you tomorrow. Your BTW 21 weather forecast is sponsored by Zentmeyer Chiropractic.